It is the proudest thing I could ever do. Yeah, but how did it go? <laughs> <laughs> that was um, former President Trump's lawyer Alina Haba on Friday, just after the jury ordered her client to pay $83 million uh, to E. Jean Carroll. We're back now with Ms. Carroll, uh, who did successfully sue Donald Trump for defamation uh, twice. She's here along with her attorneys, Robbie Kaplan uh, and Sean Crowley. Thank you all. Um, for sticking with me. Uh, let, let me actually just stick. I, I wasn't going to ask this, but and it may be rude. So you don't have to answer if you don't want. I'll put this either to Ms. Crowley or Ms. Kaplan if either of you wants to field it. Um, you are both very experienced trial attorneys. You've been up against uh, some of the best and brightest um, opposing counsel and all sorts of different trials. How is President Trump's lawyering? Uh, is, he, is he well represented in court? I'm going to let Crowley answer that, but I, <laughs> but, I, but I will say that what you heard just now in that tape of Alina Haba leaving the court and kind of yelling at the reporters, that's what we heard every single day, multiple times during this trial, but yelling at the judge. Mm. And it was unbelievably nerve wracking <laughs> each time it happened, and it happened multiple times every day. Yeah. Hmm. Uh Thanks for handing that one over to me. Um, <laughs> I think that I think that uh, she had a hard job, um, and you could definitely see a difference between her sort of style when he was in the courtroom and when he was not there. Um, she was much more disciplined and, frankly, acted more like a lawyer when he wasn't yeah. there. Um, when he mm. was, I mean, you could hear him telling her when to object and muttering things and, you know, loudly being frustrated with her. And I think she felt like she had to say things to the judge and to us and sort of put on a performance like you just saw in front of the TV cameras. Mm.